and bruises Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you <laughs> Hi, hello friends! Welcome back to Sweet Smith Home. I am very excited about this next video, about this video, because I am going to try to do a thrift store upcycle. So I went to our local thrift store, Goodwill, got a whole bunch of things to hopefully upcycle with some paint. Okay, let's get started. If you do like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, you guys. That helps my channel so, so much. You don't even know. And if you like these types of videos, the DIY, the upcycle, my last video was a Halloween prep. I'll link that. Make sure that you're subscribed and I am posting a video a week. I aim for Thursday, but the last two videos have been on a Friday. So Thursday, Friday, you will have your video from Sweet Smith Home about decor, cleaning, and DIYs. What I got from our local thrift store, it is a Goodwill, and um, yeah, I got Toy Story 2 DVD for my kids, so don't need that. Two candlestick holders. These are like a metal a glass vase glass vase a tiny little bowl I think it's probably like a sauce bowl but I think I'm gonna use it for like my rings or bracelets and stuff this pitcher I don't know what this is it's not glass it's like but it's very breakable this was three dollars this was originally yeah this is two dollars at a different thrift store I have this vase and then I also have these so these look the exact same they're the, literally the same thing. Um, so there. So a, a few different materials here. Let's see, I'm gonna hold off on this because it is holding my pumpkins. And I'll probably, oh! oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> these are the three, I'm gonna try three different ways of upcycling these. The first is trusty Rust-Oleum spray paint. This is Rust-Oleum Universal Advanced Formula. It's a metallic paint and primer in one. Second thing I'm doing is chalk paint. So this is the Kills chalk style paint, decorative paint for upcycling furniture. Can be simply applied over most existing finishes with no minimum surface preparation. Ready to use in toasted poppy seed. So it's kind of like a black, I'm going all neutral. And then the third thing I'm going to do is kind of a faux ceramic. So this is Sherman Williams, Sherman, Sherwin. <laughs> oh, y'all. In alabaster. This is a satin finish. This is what's actually on our walls. <laughs> So every, every single wall in our house is alabaster from Sherwin-Williams. And so I had a unopened canister in the garage. And I'm going to mix that with baking soda, baking powder. I'm going to mix it with something and it's supposed to give it texture. I need to pull up Pinterest again because I've already forgot. I think it's baking soda. I also have the like 31 days of Halloween playing in the background. I'm gonna mute this while I'm talking. <laughs> All I have is my vase, my paint, and a paintbrush, and then a protective surface. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Or I feel like this will just scratch right off. So, I'm kinda nervous. house is gonna get home and be like what in the world <laughs> what in the world are you doing I probably should have cleaned this first I'm gonna let that sit and dry and then I'm gonna scratch at it and see like how easily it comes off 
But I'm gonna go ahead and just paint the second one, even if it does come off. <laughs> Might as well, that didn't take long at all. I barely used any of this paint too, so. So the second one is painted. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to set up, while this is drying, I will set up the spray paint. And then we'll come back and we'll test out the baking soda. Okay, so I am opening up this brand new Sherwin-Williams. I think the main thing is like, just try to use what you've got. Um, this we already had, obviously. I'm going to do about 50 parts um, baking soda, 50 parts paint. I'm like super nervous I'm gonna get this everywhere. I'm just gonna use the rest of this because there's like not that much. And I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, I don't think y'all can see this, but look at that, super thick and clumpy. I feel like it's already like drying. I really need to hurry up. Good morning. It is day two. I haven't even had my coffee yet. But I wanted to talk through after day one some of the things I have already learned and what I'm doing with these. So first up, let's look at the ones that are fully completed, which are my spray painted candlesticks. I think they turned out really well. And my little jewelry dish turned out really good. I feel like over time this will probably scratch as I put earrings and sharp things in here. But honestly, for a 40 cent dish, some spray paint, I mean, that's the way to go with a jewelry dish. So very excited about those. Those are completely done. I'm happy with it. Spray paint works magic and I'm probably gonna get really into spray paint. <laughs> The second, um, let's look at the chalk paint. So I messed up on the bottom here. Didn't really think about that. The bottom is fully glass still. <laughs> so I didn't cover the bottom at all and I didn't reach all the way on the bottom around the edge. So I will need a second coat. And I think I'm going to try to use some dirt to give it kind of an aged cement look um i'm just gonna do it and it's probably gonna be a catastrophe because it does look really good right now the only tutorials i've seen doing this method use spray paint so it could be a very horrible <laughs> idea <laughs> this could be a horrible idea this i'm going to leave as is but i do have to give it a second coat for the same reasons um that the bottom's not fully cleaned some white got on it from when i painted the white ones and this one is a little streaky, so I can actually see through the paint. It's the glass, 
which I definitely don't want. So I'm gonna really focus on giving it a nice clean coverage. So for this, oh, Dallas loves them. He likes them as is. Um, I feel like they need something, but I'm not sure what. So I'm just gonna give this one a second coat because there were some places where it's really thin. Again, the glass bottom at the top, I feel like you might need to add like a layer of the paint right on the inside so when it's sitting on the table and you're looking at it you know you can see that inside give it just maybe about to like here with paint on the inside i'm going to give this one a second layer because there's still some blue coming through at the top and on the handle and i want to get again just right on the inside to give it that full like this is how it was made texture maybe even down here at the bottom I just want to cover up some spots this one I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some twine and hot glue and I'm going to make twine that comes up about halfway overall I think these are very promising there hasn't been one that's completely ruined yet and actually Dallas thinks I could stop here but why would I do that when I have all of these ideas so I'm gonna to try to make them as good as possible without ruining them and I'm gonna do my dirt actually I should probably do this first because it just needs a thin layer of paint and then I'll scooch it out of the way and we'll do the dirt here now <laughs> so nervous but we're gonna try out this I'm going to paint a small section and then I'm going to toss some dirt on it and see what happens. <laughs> done so I'm going to talk a little bit about the end result for each one I'm gonna start with the bust and I hate to say it but the bust is this vase it looked so good that I put dirt on it <laughs> and as Dallas so poetically said um, it looks like you dropped the vase in dirt and it does uh, just looks like dirt on a vase it did not turn out like I pictured and honestly the dirt started scraping off some of the paint so the paint does chip off the glass pretty easily when I put that rough gritty dirt on it it started chipping off the paint so while it looks good from a distance up close it just looks like a dirty vase so I wish I uh, would not have done it but I might maybe I might spray paint it Probably my C plus, C minus. I don't know, it did not turn out very good. The candlesticks I think turned out great. There are little spots that they're still a little see-through, but I think that's just gonna come with learning how to spray paint better. Also, the little jewelry dish turned out great as well, so spray paint was probably my biggest success. I think the plain black vase 
turned out wonderful. A minus, what do you think? There's one scratch here. Again, because it's on glass, the paint does scratch off pretty easily. So I wouldn't paint this for anything that was going to be like, needs to be super durable um, for some decor, for some Halloween decor. I think it worked out fine. I think the ceramic pitcher turned out quite good. I love the texture. I think it gives it a whole new look than the kind of outdated flowers, I should say. They were kind of outdated. It will look great as a centerpiece on our table with some flowers. A minus, maybe even A plus. Dare I say A plus? This one, again, uh, turned out pretty good. I didn't paint the bottom. I got too lazy. A minus for this as well. The twine, I like that it looks different than the others, but the twine just didn't turn out like I wanted it to. I don't think it looked as good as I was expecting in my head. B plus, but that's just B plus for design, not really for skill. But let me know what you think. Out of all of these, how do you think my twine and my dirt base did? <laughs> and which is your favorite? Let me know if you're gonna try any of these at home. Very simple for all of them. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. If you are still here, make sure that you are subscribed so you can see next week's video. I do videos on DIYs, cleaning, and decor. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment rating these. Let me know, do you think, do you think they turned out okay? Is this a tutorial you might use in the future? And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Remember when you told me you believe in something and you said